Good evening everybody and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. As you can see we have a great game coming up for you this evening. And we're going to hand you now over to the commentary team from the BBC. Thank you very much and a hello to everybody at home. First out this evening we have a player with 13 WBT titles. A former mixed pairs winner and five times world pairs champion, six times former winner of this event. Ranked number 15 in the world. Please put your hands together for Alex Marshall, MBE. This match has 12 WBT titles in his record. He's a previous Scottish Open, International Open, as well as a World Pairs, World Open Pairs, and former World Singles Champion, ranked number six in the world. Please put your hands together for Greg Harlow. It will be fascinating just to see exactly how these two players play out on their first two balls. It's uh, going to be an interesting battle to say the least, John, because Alex Marshall and Greg are both very good drawers to the jack. And then, of course, the shot play will come into it. But uh, it's who's going to put the pressure on for Jack the first few ends. And a half meters. Yeah, it certainly is. And they both played against each other before, so they know each other's game inside out. Yes, the head-to-heads are five times in singles, and Alex Marshall's three, two in front at the moment. But it's the, the sheer volume of matches play that really makes it interesting. Alex Marshall, 177, Greg, 194, and uh, Alex has won 119. Greg Harlow, 134, titles won seven each, but uh, Alex is... And this is the, the singles, of course. Greg's more in the International Open. He was very successful. Had a great run there. He's won the Welsh, of course. And for here as well. Alex has won six titles here in the singles. That's Obviously, that statistic is not including all the other titles they've won in pairs and mixed pairs and various other things. Start year, it's Marshall. Right on it straight away. Two green. Lots of practice time before this game starts, 7.30. The two players have had plenty of time to get themselves organized. Greg Harlow looking for the drive. Jack in the ditch, so the two balls out. So, difficult choice for Alex. Does he pop another one in or does he go deep? He has got the last ball, so I suppose he could afford to leave the deep ball and pop another one in. Yeah, it's the first end as well. He may just try to add to this, get to the red ball, the third red ball. He's going on the forehand side. Suggests he's going for position. Well, he's going for the respot by the looks of it. He thinks he's, there's a chance of that jack bouncing off a ball. 
can see the green ball coming up towards the, the white dot on the left hand side of your picture. It's well short of it, but it's the closest one to it. Going again. Still white, I think. A little bit less weight this time, but uh, still not coming back in time. And that's two with another one to come. Yeah, a little bit wider with this. So I think he pushed it out a little bit because he had a little bit less weight, John, expecting it to dip in. Just didn't happen. Back onto the backhand for Alex Marshall. For the red ball. Inside the red ball, he scores three. Just like that. <clears throat> Good start. Three shots, Alex Marshall. Zero three, first end. Jack length, 27 metres. Greg Spow, 16 inches. Big draw on those balls, and that's the hand he preferred when he was playing against Nick Brett in the previous match. Played it very well. And delivery changing onto that side, turns the jack. Oh, it's wonderful to see the third end. The shot bowl is in front of the jack, yeah. Uh, end two, three. Three, two, second, second end. end. That exactly. excited, I don't know where I am. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant stuff.
again. Just needs to run. That's all. He was just trying to rock the ball so it would drop down. What on earth does Alex do with his last one? Does he go for cover? Just in case? Can't really see you can do much with this. Better just to stay away from it and say, off you go. If you make it, you make it. And he's playing forehand because he doesn't want to tap the ball on the backhand side, expose the jack. shoulder though mm. this might be worth playing just a little bit stronger Greg's front goal is going nowhere except onto the jack and that's the shoulder that come off in the forehand might be worth a little bit more weight but he's going in the backhand oh, he's thinking of getting the ball onto the jack and getting it onto the re-spot only thing I can imagine would be the reason for playing that. Yeah. Just a bit inside. Don't know if it's cost him another shot, but I can understand why he played it. Well, certainly one, one in a look. Two shots, Alex Marshall. It is two shots, actually. He's given him up to run away. Zero, five, up to two yes, I think he obviously he's down there. You can see the angles, John. We didn't think it was a problem playing that shot, but it was just the way he clipped off the front, maybe. The jack moved in a different way. I thought he might have played it off his forehand rather yep. than the backhand. That was the only thing I thought, Dave. Looked a better shot given where yep. Alex's last bowl had finished. Jack length, 23 and a half metres. Well, by Alex Marshall's standards, he's just a little bit away at his favourite length. And that short length will not disturb Gray Harlow at all. He quite enjoys the short track length. Yeah, he may con consider running this. Well, it's a good target to go to, but uh, he doesn't want to get his own balls if he's slightly outside. On the other hand, if he gets it absolutely right, it'll open the head up completely. It's not too far away. I'm going to use that. Yeah. Well, it's sort of coming into his own two. One red. But he has opened it up. So that's good. The young man was wearing what looks like a lot of the new bolts kit that's out on offer these days, John. Yeah, nice colour on that young man's shirt. Uh, he's just over that. One red. What did it get closer, Greg? Yeah. Now let's go back to the draw. <coughs> Go 
good line again. All about weight. Now if he can drop back. No, nope, it'll drop away. Well, he would have expected to draw a shot with that one. It was just very slow to get back onto the line. Yeah, made it. Good end for Greg. Gets him on the card. Two shots, Greg Hull. Set score two five after three ends. Glad I didn't bring my dog. He'd have been fighting with him. I don't think that dog would even be interested. I think that dog's very, very well trained. Worried about him, and we've been worried about mine, Dave. <laughs> Beautiful Labrador. Jack length 26 and a half meters. Yeah, Greg just about to deliver, but there's people coming in who didn't even see him on the mat. So uh, I'll let them get settled. That's why they're just having a bit of a laugh and a chat about it. I was waiting to see what would happen. Even the dog looks a bit surprised. <laughs> there you go. It's fine. It was just people coming in just a little bit late. Match has started. Haven't enjoyed their evening meal. Good balls and a generous crowd. Players always appreciate that. And yeah, just not getting there with that. It's too far away, but centre of the rink as one well. Distance, your yes. problem for Greg later if Jack Jack gets in. Yeah, it's in favour of the red the way it's sitting at the moment. It's better with this. Get the adjustment, he gets in front of the green, he gets the shot. Well, it's like putting that 16 inches into a computer, isn't it? Playing very good line on his hand. Just adjusts the weight then. He's not really worried about the line. He's picking the line every time, really. He's good. Yes, just faded inside. 
may not be in, but it's a ball round about. Yeah, and it's awkward there. Now it's just uh, we'll be pushing Greg out a little bit. Still drawable. There's only the one down, I think. There's an option to play into the head. Now, if he's on the inside edge of the mat, and he is, he's right over on the corner for the running ball. Oh, what a result. Yeah. It's a ball that's come into the head. It's not a toucher, but uh, off target for what he wanted, but got a very good result by pumping the ball in, and that was always a possibility. Yeah, I think he played the percentages and something into the jack, get a movement. I think Alex will probably draw this comfortably. Mm. Well, it's got three metres for it. He doesn't have to go near the ditch. Yes, he let it go, he knew it was there, and it was a very comfortable looking draw. So whilst it was a, a good result in terms of um, moving the jack, it was always going to be still a single shot. Jack length, 24 and a half metres. That's not right, but it's probably in five. Just checking the scores at the moment. You're on end five, and it says end six. So it should be end five. 24 and a half, Alex. There we go. Four ends played. Six, two, playing end five. Oh dear, oh that didn't go well. I yes, see knew that was short out of the hand. A little bit of a disturbance maybe, just was enough. It takes very little to break the concentration. didn't need a second invitation to put one close. Yes, Alex likes the backhand going away from this direction and uh, from where we are in the commentary box. And so a little bit surprised Greg is changing his hand. He's probably thinking, I need to turn this jack around the corner. If I miss it, I'll get the green ball. One red. My last one, Mr. Allen, please. Your last bow, 12 inches past jack high. One down, it's a good second ball for Alex Marshall. How far is the last one through, Alan, please? Gap, gap is four inches. <coughs> Crowd's really turned out for this game. It looked good on paper. So far, it's delivering.
After the first ball, just dropping short, Alex didn't look right with that delivery. He knew there was something wrong. A variety of reasons, possibly, but he needed a, a recovery ball, which he's got a good second in. That was important. Yeah, you play a similar ball now. Turn on the jack, but drop the, the red ball away. Got the range. Very close to me. He runs for oh, a run on that line. Oh, he's got oh. this all day long. That looked good out of the hand, but you can never really tell until it's arriving in towards the jack. Superb. Yeah, I said he had the range of dangerous man when he's got his sights on, on the jack. This is not easy at all. Ball on the jack is the only real way to get it. Hmm, what happened there? Oh, there we go. Let's see who's... Uh, yeah, there we go. It's, uh, everybody's now checking their phone. I've been told many times, but it just happens occasionally. You just move on. And three seconds later, the ball would have been away, John. Not a problem. Go again. Good effort. Probably needed that weight, John, to make the contact. So uh, just missed it by Two half shots, a ball. In terms of the Sets line. Two eight after five ends. But Alex made it very difficult to get the shot there. Yeah, he's playing very controlled, <laughs> solid bowls. Alex Marshall looks very good. Greg hasn't played badly, but they two down at the moment, and I just wonder whether that might be too much to make up in this set, David. Jack length, 27 metres. Oh, it doesn't give him much away. No, he's not. He's a, a bit longer with this one. generally plays around that 24 metres, but uh, so this backhand he's very fond of. There's a lot of good balls on it. Try by Greg. He's got a foot away. on the forehand he's running for the green ball early yes he's played very controlled at this and i think he's got it good shot yeah. with the jack out into the open one red played the difficult weight a controlled weight yeah, he's good at that shot normally i think that's a better shot for him to be honest john than it is a full drive i think he's more successful with that type of controlled conversion weight Marshall needs just to hurry a little bit to get in the front of the jack, and he has. Well, well that's good shooting. Two and a half yeah, that's the frustration. You open it up from Greg O'Hala's point of view, and he just puts one back there. Back to the draw.
super effort again. All for four or five inches more. Timeout called. Alex has four timeouts remaining. Uh, Alex is looking at this, and what he's what he can see is if that green ball on the plant, John, will go past. Yes, he's Great. assuming that Greg might play that shot. Yeah. Now there might be a pathway through, just past the jack. So the only danger, I suppose, is if he drops off Jack High or something like that. But uh, he's had a look. If it does get a little snick off the Jack, then anything behind would be a good position ball. Oh, that will do. That's very good. Oh. It could be another shot oh, as well. That's really good. Just playing in his pass, Jack High, you see. Not going to help Greg. No. Drop back as well for another. Well, you could say it's a shoulder to drop off, but my goodness me, that's a really good ball. Yeah, Greg's going for the plant. Running forward, he needs to get down quick. Yes, he's very close to it. But all the weight transferred through the red ball. Now, that red ball did move a fraction. Prior to that, I think it was one to green. Good shot by Greg. That last ball from Alex Marshall. I think that is the shot ball. A great plant shot, wasn't it? You know, that was oh. the one to play, but... No, he played it well. To yeah. no avail, I think. One shot, yes. Alex Marshall. Yes, uh, you know, Greg's right, it was still one, but... So it's got two nine after took six one out. That was a clever ball by Alex Marshall to put it just there. I thought anything behind was going to be good, but to actually hold an extra shot, my goodness me, he did well. Something's happened. Somebody's gone down in the arena. Yes, it, uh, that last end, Alex Marshall, he couldn't have put that ball any better, really. Oh, I think everything's okay. I think it was just a jack length, 25 maybe meters. A slip or something on a step, and of course that can carry in here with the amount of noise it makes. He made the correction, not quite. Had the road absolutely perfect, but didn't push through it. Last bowl, 18 inches short of Jack High. Big end this for Greg Harlow. There's another Norwich fan there. Norwich fans are coming in with their shirts on, aren't they, John? Yeah, they certainly are. Green balls. One red. Mm. 
Oh, it's dropping short. Backhand's completely blocked up now for Alex Marshall. Ball, two, just over two feet. He can get around it, but he can still get around his own ball as well on the backhand because he doesn't need to get back into the centre rink. Oh, I think you play forehand, but that ball's down a little bit further, Dave. Yeah, it's a bit easier. Yeah, he needs to get this in now if he's going to score something on this end. Other than the one, this is the ball. not in and I think Alex Marshall is trying to draw this because one shot's not a problem two shots is really still not a problem just doesn't want to lose a three or a four yeah he could run it it's, it's a scrappy end really and it, there's a lot of gaps there yeah uh, apart from that he's got three short balls John there's no back cover yeah you know Greg it's it is possible for Greg to get to the jack and just touch it Time and out. that could Alex possibly change into a four. So I think he will just draw the shot with this, or at least attempt to. Yeah, it's, it's a forehand draw. Oh, he's going to go straight down, looking for the jack right through to the ditch. But as he said, oh, that ball's just fallen over. It has, but if you get a, you get a ball somewhere around about this sort of area, it would be it would be excellent. It may not be the shot, may be a bit longer than that, but either way, it's going to be very useful. Oh, there's balls falling all over the place. The red one dropped down, now a green one. Doesn't change the shot he's playing. A sensible decision to make the, the forehand draw. Gets back. Get back down in there. Well, it's still there, it's still possible, but it's a very, very close angle to get at it. That's the problem. Yeah, Greg's looking, yeah. <laughs> Trying to run the jack all the way through, Dave. Well, yes, he I is. And if he does, that last Greg ball of Alex's will remain. come into play, depending on which side the jack goes. It looks like he's looking to see if, he, if it goes dead as well. Does, does he get something on the respot? I mean, he's holding one at the moment. This will be interesting. Jack over one side of the rink, he might make a three. And he's playing it, he's looking for the jack through. Oh, well, he nearly got it off the ball on the push and run. One shot, Greg Harlan. Let's go 3 9 after 7 in. Wasn't that far away on the run through John, but you could see what he was after. A tough shot to pull off. Well, it's to be relieved. With a single suits him. I, I think there isn't that absolutely a brilliant idea. Just lie down on the floor, pause out. I think I'll have a little snooze, but he's a hearing dog. Jack length, 29 and a half metres. Either fully trained or under training. Aren't they wonderful? Tell you what, he's better be Marvelous able to some things. of the two-legged spectators, isn't he, Dave? He's having a doze.
unfortunate day she's fallen out of that bowl. It's a little bit easier now for Alex to just rest in there with his backhand. not a worrying situation at the moment for Alex Marshall but uh, he needs to get a ball in in the meantime Greg changing over to the forehand as we see the Scottish supporters for the flag Looking for number three, a bonus if he picks the jack up. Well, that's a number third, a number three shot. Favorite. Yeah, I had to swap sides then. Still room to draw the shot. An adjustment here. Yeah, well, he's played this well. Played it really good. Yeah, he has. Gentle, gentle to flop back, and he has. Yeah, played it really well. That's the recovery ball he was looking for. Greg's going to have to try and remove it. No choice. Be an inside line. Just enough weight to push it out. What the line's pretty good. Yeah, he's not going to quite get down, I don't think. Very good try. A hard shot, to be fair, and uh, but he had to play it with that sort of weight. Alex Marshall. No choice. He had to keep his ball in to give himself a chance on the last end. But it's one to Alex Marshall. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. Greg Harlow on the wrong side of a 10-3 scoreline in the first set. It's his first ball away in the second, a set that he must win to force the tie break. Well, John. Yeah, very solid. Didn't really give Greg a sniff in that first set. Comprehensive, really, win. Greg has tried to change the length. He's gone longer as well. He's not shaking Alex off at the moment. No, it's two good starter balls, though. You just have to build the head and hope that at some stage Alex gives you a chance to take a ball out for a count or he has a bad end, one or the other. <laughs> the bad end isn't happening, is it? No, it's one on either side of the jack too, so you take the pair of bowls out. Certainly 
worth arriving to this. Doesn't matter what sort of weight he plays, you can draw it or play through it. Good try by Greg. Just over it. It's a good ball there, though. Absolutely. deliberate, he's gone deep, he's quite prepared to leave the draw shot for Greg, he's covered the back, <laughs> and if you do, you're good enough to draw it Greg, just leaving it for him. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good to actually play, what you would expect from Alex Marshall or indeed from Greg Harlow, you know, they're, they're not going to make mistakes on the tactical side, definitely not. Well, he's setting up on the forehand, suggests he's going to run this. So he's better with that sort of weight, isn't he, John? You know, that's not a full-out drive. It's more of a controlled drive. One great. Yeah, it's a more of a... More of a, a semi, really. Ball. More yeah, of a semi so drive. Semi drive. Yeah. And, and he's, he's much better at that sort of weight, more successful for getting into the target area. <laughs> The last ball coming in, the spare shot, you call it, David. He just nailed it again. Yeah, it wasn't a given that one by any means. No, I always think half a yard, two feet, you should be making two it. Shots, Alex Marshall. But when the other ball's 12 Zero, inches two, away, first it's pretty tough. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. Keeping the pressure on Greg and forcing him into big bowls early in the ends. Also forcing him to think about playing weight shots too, John. And he hasn't played weight with this. He's not reaching. No. Where's he going to finish? He doesn't want to finish on the spots down the middle. That two is green. not a great place to be. No, the two green balls are still available if he wants to play weight. You can see a road past though. The front one. And that's why Alex is playing this on the forehand because he doesn't want to leave anything wide on the backhand. Oh, he wouldn't mind tucking that jack in between the two green bows out of sight if you can play it. Just over, so he's going to a good position there. That's okay. Yep. Keep the leader. 
Yeah, that's a handy Very ball. Good. Crowd clapping that one, they realise that's a, a very useful one. Greg's got to draw again on this backhand. It is a line in. Oh, it's very doable, no doubt about that. He's not far away with this. It stays up, it's very close for shot. Still green, I think. Yours, one green. One green. Belly on the ball, Dave's on his back. Makes a difference. Yes, and it probably will force Alex back to the backhand again to try and make it between the two balls. Good effort in a receiving position, but I still think Greg has to arrive at this, try and rest the ball out. Yeah, he needs a foot, a foot or so on his last ball, really. He can lift the green away for two on that backhand. It's coming in and turning the ball away, Dave. Yeah, I can see what you're talking about there, John. You know, we're looking at a ball that's coming in here. The red side, the only, there's not so much any danger, the, the, there's another option, and, and the option Great is to play down, out, just drop the ball down. It's too heavy, it wouldn't be too good, but, you know, like most ends, you've got two options, sometimes more. You know, it's playing the backhand, that seems to be the the more favoured side for this type of slightly overweight shot. Let's see how much weight he uses. Yeah, very controlled. Well, he's interested. It's all about the connections. Oh, he's hit the green as a green ball in, in the ditch. Oh, oh. One shot, Alex Marshall. Just stayed on. That had dropped in. He was scoring two. Yeah, he's played right through this, looking for bowl or jack. He gets the jack, gets the back green, and another roll. It's in the ditch. He gets two, but it doesn't. It stays on the end. Yeah, bit unlucky because. Oh, well, there's the jack going into the ditch, and the ball just arriving and stopping. If it had come off the green ball, he could meters. easily have made two, maybe even three. But a good, a good shot, played it well. Alex is not sure about this one. He's trying to encourage the ball forward, so he must be short. Sure about that line. Never looked really good enough that one. Three feet. So we pushed into that one, Alex. Shot. So fleeting opportunities for Greg. When he doesn't take it, Alex puts the second ball in. Dave doesn't, you know, and he needs to get in in front. He's looking for the draw again on the backhand. It's all about missing the front one, and he has. Now will it stop in time? Could be. Drop back. Yeah, good adjustment there for Greg, he needed that. And confirmed this one red very quickly. Uh, 
Well, Alex sticking on the backhand. Just needs to pass his bowl again. Oh, has he played it first time? First time it is. He drops back as well. Wow. wow. <laughs> He's playing well. Yeah. Great. Uh, got a good feel for it at the moment. Even when he does play a, one bad bowl, the next two are very good. I think it'll be interesting to see if Greg plays this on the forehand to try and, yes he is, try and kick into the jack of the bowl. Going away quick, need some luck. Well, good effort. Wasn't far away. That leaves that one green ball quite vulnerable. But Alex Narsal now has a back ball, so he'll not be concerned about that. He'll be concentrating on adding another shot, or at least getting another win, maybe even third shot, John, at worst. Yeah, it doesn't matter if he probably doesn't score another. He'll be trying to get close, but something around there. Keep that shot ball company. Well, it's a good line again. How's his pace from there? It's just a matter of missing the front one. Pretty as well, I think. That's a quality ball there. Yeah. Two balls can still go out, but my goodness me. Yeah, he's making Greg play a lot of difficult runners. Uh, you do. Yes, yeah, so he's asking who's lying fourth, which means he's happy to go with the two balls. Might take his own closest away, but he'll still lie shot. This might be just a little bit quicker. Yeah, definitely quicker. The jack, part of the jack. And he's got his own. Oh, unlucky. Thought he was just high. Yeah, it always looked a bit high, John, but you know, it was the right shot to play, and uh, just a bit unlucky to miss the jack. And it's persistence from Alex. He's just grinding Greg down here at the moment. He can't get a look in. He is. Uh, every time Greg's looking good, Alex is getting the ball in, whether it's a... Well, it doesn't really matter which ball it is, because he's done it from the first to the last on some occasions. But if he does miss with the first, he seems to be able to repeat that again, John, you know, with a good ball second, third, fourth. So it's not that Greg has Jack played badly at all. He's meters. covered the shot on numerous occasions, but he can't score. It's just unbelievable. He just beats everything at the moment. Marshall, he's on fire. There we go again. First ball, right in close. Try again. Not far away, is he? Thank you, know, but oh, but worse finish is very good. A lot of people would immediately move onto the forehand because it's protected and get to the red ball. But you know, like, still very happy in this backhand. Very classy stuff again. Very close, just off the side of it. 
that's so good, so good try as well. I think the thing is with Alex that he's playing so well that you know he, there's more of a fear of him dropping off, and uh, he, he'll just want to keep going and going and going, knock off the ends, keep scoring ones and twos. Yeah, I just wonder he might s switch sides here. I want to give it away by yeah. moving the jacks. You go on to his forehand. Well, he played that so wide. Don't think he's, he was at all interested in coming into the head. Covered the respot position, and he's also, if the jack squirts out the side, he's in a good place. Yeah, he's tempting Greg, he's thinking, well, Greg might have a, a run at it. He's been close on the draw with the two balls, Greg. Yeah. He just needs a small adjustment of weight. I think that's what he's aiming for, a little turn of the jack. Just a little bit over it. Yep. Get in here a bit quick. But he's got to reach. You know, yep. Yeah, you, know, you can't you can't say anything about that because all you know, it's the right shot, it's the right weight, John, because he has to be there. And if the ball doesn't come back, well, you know, it's it's not always your fault because it's very hard to pick out the line. And you could say yes, okay, he had the wrong line, but the reality is he plays the same next time. It could just come in. Well, he's onto his backhand. I think he's going for position on the other side now. Yep. Yeah, he's very much aware of the score situation and uh, he's in the cover ball mode because he's line two and he's played that extremely well once again Jack was back that side he's covered he's, he's doing everything right yes and he's leaving small targets for Greg as well nothing really big to hit so they're difficult strikes or runs if you're going to go at it Greg Harlow trying to draw the shot. That's got a good line in with this. Just did the weight. Big effort from Greg Harlow. If he runs, if he runs. No, oh, he's going to drop off the shot. That's, yeah, Alex, triple, triple. Alex knew that. He knew that that was a shot ball coming in. And that was very important, John, at this stage. Yeah, it's a big ball for Greg there. So let's go 1 5 after 4 ends. Well, a lot of people would have still have played the runner there in the hope of getting something. Brave ball. Jack length, 23 and a half metres. on Alex's favourite jack length, 23, 23 and a half metres and Greg Harlow bangs the first one on it. Small gap, little touch in the backhand that will spring. Doesn't want to go hunting it though. Yeah, it's just drawing on this forehand. Looks a better line. The weight. Just over. Just touch over a couple of feet. 
I thought, thought well, if you hit that ball, it looked like it was going to drop down, but still plenty of room. And you can see the reason why Alex is not playing the backhand, because if you play a tight line, it will dip away. If you're right on the draw line, it's very, very slow to get back. Red. You might have an option here to go for this because if he's slightly on the wide side, he could take two reds out. You can see the reds just hanging off the side if he's a little bit past the shot ball. Hits the shot ball, well, it's all on the respot. It's a one ball shootout. Well, going for the spring. This is hard. This is a difficult shot. Played this really well. Yep, yeah, he's played it extremely well. Again, again. Yeah, it's a touch here, but it's still one red. Although we set up a very nice position. Yeah, he was making sure he got a second. He didn't overplay it. Controlled bowls from Alex Marshall. Didn't go racing at it. Secure with the second ball. Yes, and gives himself a really good chance now in the forehand of being a bit more positive to it. Timeout call. Or even the backhand. Greg has two timeouts yeah. remaining. Yeah, well, it's just that backhand so hard yeah. to get down, yeah, John. It's difficult, I think. You know, on a, on, a, on a very short jack length. Now, Greg might look to play this now in the forehand to try and cover the green balls. You can't assume that Alex is going to miss it. No, I think that's his only option, to be honest. He's not going to get another shot there, so cover the greens. He's elected to go very deep with that. I don't think Alex is going to drive this, Dave. I think he's going to play this with nice weight. I'm assuming he'll play or try to play it with a yard or two, but again, difficult shot. Yeah. But if he does get it, he's going to make three of it. Greg's covered the respot. That line, be surprised. From the lie. Just underneath it. Good effort, though. Mm, the best players in the world struggle with that one. Set score 2 5 after 5 ends. does show though that on a very short jack length how difficult it is to play those little running balls. Fuller jack length you've got a chance. Jack length 24 and a half metres. Service uh, resumes. Okay. Yeah, good start. Greg's having to work hard in to stay in the second set. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. Wow. Oh, great. 
Costa. Wow, wonderful ball. Oh, that's impressive. Didn't have a lot of room then, he's drawn the shot. Very there's slightly. There's nothing safe out there, John, but when you get your first ball four inches in front, five inches in front of the jack, you're thinking, it's good chance to build on this. And it's taken away with the first effort. Very close again, just needs to run. Yep. Just didn't have the weight. Line was good. Very good. He right to the jack. Yep. Backhand, then forehand. Alex might have to think about this and decide to go at it. It's uh, Two getting into the business end now. Let me time out. Six and six and seven. Three. Yeah, good bowl again by Greg. He, you know, he's, he's working really hard. He's playing well. Time out called. Alex has two timeouts remaining. Might be tempted on the forehand. Just a little running bowl into the split. Mm -hmm. Even if he moves the front one, that would be good. He's playing it. Not far away to something. Yeah, depends on the angle. Oh, oh God, perfect. my goodness me. Oh, what a ball. One great. Uh, again, look at this. Just played it. Perfect weight. A running bowl. Solid. Follow through. Get the jack. I mean, Greg's played two great bowls there, and he's shot down again. Absolutely. He'll probably draw this. I would expect him certainly to draw it. But, uh, wow. Vintage Marshall, no doubt about that. Mr. Ryan needs to die off that. After playing two absolutely brilliant balls. Yeah, that's a shame. Yes, it looks like he, he might lose a two, and although to be fair, <laughs> Alex Marshall played an outstanding ball. Lie the shot. Yeah, there wasn't much he could do, but he played a superb runner, Alex, and you've got to fancy him to draw another year where he's playing. <laughs> Good again. Good again. The guy's really in the groove with me. Running balls, throwing balls. He's not missing much. Yeah, that's what I, I saw him when I first arrived and I said to him, he's looking well. He said he's feeling good, he's exercising. Set score 2 7 after 6 ends. I think he's better prepared for this event than he has been for a while, John, and it's showing at the moment. Jack length, 29 metres.
just been relentless. Yeah, and you can see the finishing line now, and he's keeping the pressure on. Yeah, so it's very easy to see that finishing line too early, John, but uh, that's not the case with someone like Alex Marshall. He's far too experienced. He will expect Greg to make it very hard for him to win this match in the last few ends. Too great. Greg Haller won't give up. He's too much of a good competitor for that, but it's been tough for him tonight. He's played some great balls, but this man just been on fire. Picking this line, well, it's like shelling peas. It's on it every time, Dave. Yes, it's all down to weight, really. He, he played this backhand so well in previous matches. This is the bowl that Greg does a lot of damage with, though normally it's the third bowl. Yeah, needs a good one. Running it. I don't know if he's high, but he might be. He's just holding the line. Yeah, he's very close to the jack here. Well, that's good. That's good. Didn't get the jack. You can see that, it's obvious, but he's opened the door a little bit. Yeah, just held on long enough that bowl. It started to go, Dave. Yes, it did. It did. Take just it. enough to get off it. Any thicker and it would have whizzed away from the head. As it is, still two to green, but at least there's space around the jack. Alex Marshall's got a back ball as well. So the back's covered. This needs to run a bit. Mm. That was the one to really kill it off, John. Yeah, he picked the line again. For the first time, he's dropped it a little bit short. Yeah, it's a bit of a wry smile, he knew that. He could have killed it off. Greg's on the forehand, so he's looking to try and get the two green balls to score a two or three. That's adventurous, but I think he needs the shots, and that's why he's playing it. Well, it's not near those. Depends what he gets now. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Well, unlucky result, no doubt about that. He was in the target area, but another end to be played. Two shots, Alex Marshall. So no change on the on the score, John. But yeah, he was he was aiming for that sort of line down to the jack. He wanted the two balls really, and yep. he didn't get a good connection. And the jack might have secured him a single, but um, Alex Marshall cruises on to a 9-2 lead, and this really is Alex Marshall. Well, to be honest with you, this is the way he was playing when he Jack was winning his titles and here. And it's not that long ago that he won his last one in the singles. But Just running the ball now. I think he's decided I can't outdraw the guy. I'm just going to try and hit him off the green. It's a resigned look about him. Oh, body <laughs> he's, just, he's just playing it out for fun, isn't he? Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. I mean, he he knows he's not going to get a four against Alex Marshall and then another four. They're just playing, they're just going to play it down and... He really has been exceptional tonight, Alex Marshall. He's done absolutely everything right. And Greg Harlow has been, just to be honest, blasted away in this match and he hasn't played badly. No, he hasn't. 
definitely hasn't played badly. They've beaten a lot of players the way he'd played early doors in, in this game, but... Yeah. He's playing this. If he misses it, they'll shake hands. Yep, he'll turn around, shake hands, wish him all the best. There we go, pull this through. Now that to me was about as comprehensive as you could possibly think, John. It was an outstanding play. Yeah, and he wasn't playing, let's face it, Greg Hall is a world-class player. Not playing anybody, brilliant, brilliant display from Alex Marshall. Um, Seen him play some great matches over the years, but it's it's great to see him back at his very best. No doubt about that. And also showing the confidence Alex Morris is showing as well. Now that was an absolute exhibition by him, no doubt about that. Against one of the best players in the world. Yeah, definitely. So Alex Marshall makes his way through in a very confident manner into the semi-final. Two sets nil, 10-3, 10-2, and he was cruising. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for for today, so join us again tomorrow. But until then, from Potter's Resorts, it's good night, God bless everybody. Bye-bye.